Yes, you are, sweetheart. Trinity makes her way down to the ring. Now, Trinity hasn't been seen since that battle whale a few weeks ago that we had back on episode, what, three-ish, if I'm not mistaken? It's been a while. Either way, that's not, that's not the point of the case here. The point of the case is this. This young lady is amazing. Not only does she look amazing, but she's a great athlete in that ring. One of the best, I'd say, here in Shinjuku. Don't let her demean or fool you right now. She doesn't like she's ever really into her matches these days. More of an attitude as of late. And I love it from her, though. You gotta have some kind of attitude. You gotta have something going. You gotta, whether the crowd loves you or hates you, you gotta come in with something. And she comes in with a very heavy attitude of just get out of my face, let me beat you up, and let me leave. And you gotta love it. Serona making her way down to the ring here. Seen Serona a couple times now, if I'm not mistaken. And Serona's just an amazing athlete, man. This girl is good. This girl's damn good. She's just talk about athletic. She's just as athletic as Trinity on the outside there. But when it comes down to it, it comes down to this, right? Who wins the match? Athletic prowess and all that goes aside once that one to three is finally landed on whichever these two ladies. Question is who is going to be? We'll find out when we return to Shinjuku, Joshua Bell. Bell. Welcome back to Shinjuku, Trinity there. Serona on the other side. Let's get it going. Oh, and just threw all that caboose right to the side of her head there. So I don't think Serona was expecting that. I don't think Trinity was expecting her to flat her either. It's just kind of like a almost instinct there. If your instincts to throw some booty at you, <laughs> signing me up, girl. Anyway, watch out. Oof. Guess that has that head. Wherever the head goes, the body may f uh, has to follow. It's just the laws of human physics. It's laws of physics altogether, but mostly when it comes to the human oh body, the human anatomy, that's pretty much the case. This is that. Oh, and she comes back with a clothesline there. You saw Trinity trying to figure out what the hell she's going to do. Oh, and flies right into those Luthor's punches there. Trinity RA game, just as much as Serona is. She did it fly. Oh, a little more than she expected to. Let's go back in the ring. Trini doesn't have the speed. Of, well, had no way would have a speed advantage here. Serona with the longer legs, I would assume, would have the speed advantage when it comes to making the distance quickly. So I'm trying to get. I don't know if she was trying to get out of the way or what. The way. Serona. Oh, tossed it back to the outside once again. Goes even so far. Moves being landed by both young ladies here. And I can't wait to see how these girls grow into themselves. Right now, it seems like the crowd's kind of 50-50 on these all of these ladies here. Well, their first time in the ring won't be their last either. She loves to have a good time. Oh, but we're not paying attention to her opponent there. Could get her in trouble. Lays down the foundation with that knee right there. Across the... Oh, sorry, across the face. Across, across the... And that neck taking damage here. She grounds her. That's tough as something. Oh, the headbutt. That was vicious. Serona on her shit here. Stop around on the ribs. And then that knee again across the face of Trinity. Serona where she wants to be, I would assume. Land for up for something. Saw it come and kick to the back hamstring there. Front drop kick. Oh! I think she's going for that leg layered across the top of the forehead of Serona. And caught a little bit of it. Enough to knock Serona back for the moment. Wants to do more. But well, she's going to have to keep it up. Right now, Serona. Oh! Gets out of the way of that once again. So not exactly... Where she wants to be. Oh, close on grounds her in the corner. Oh, there we go. Trinity 
This is what I'm talking about. If she can really get things going for herself, she can win this match. This is what I love to see. Serona was running this match for the, for the moment. For the early part of this thing. Oh, now we're getting down to the meaty and, the meaty and greedy here. I don't even know what that means. This, oh, shoulder breaker, tough as nails, because it just taking out Trinity there. If you can't lift your arm up, you can't get a three here. You can't kick out for the three, I meant to say. You gotta give Trinity credit. That shoulder breaker was tough. Haven't seen one like that in a while. Oh, did you see that? I don't know what you even call that. But Trinity just landed whatever the hell that was. Going to the second rope, Huda can run on and she got all of it. Trying to get the crowd behind us, what you gotta do, but placing too much time to play around and taunt. Oh, tough elbow across the chin there, Serona. Serona now, grounded, oh, for the moment. Kick to the leg, kick to the leg from Serona now. Snap mare, saw it coming. Where the hell Trinity was going for. Serona cut her off with that kick of her own and then to a snap mare. Now you see Serona with a super kicked. Jeez. Serona will go to the top of that splash or something even worse because she could probably have this thing in the bag. Or she can go for that splash on the ground. She could do some work here, but I don't know what's up to her. I should get out of the way of that one's beyond me. Trinity's still on her A game here with that kick. Has turned that B back to an A. But these girls are always an S+. Plus. That's for sure. Oh. Catches that one. Goes on big. Saw it coming. Oh. Shot to the spine. DDT tough as nails. Trinity throwing everything she can into her here. Spinning. Back kick. Saw it coming. Arm drag again. She hits the ground hard. Rolls out, so Trinity not stupid by the slightest. You be you be crazy to think she is, but a clothesline so just not how the reach that I think she was. I think she was expecting Serona to run in a little earlier than she did. Grabbed for her to try and counter whatever the hell she was going for. Serona cuts her off with that one, tosses her back, cuts her off with a clothesline, tosses her back into the ring. Now Serona may have this thing. Now Serona may have this thing where she wants it. Let's see what she can lay in here. Clothesline takes her over. Serona in a. Has it right where she wants it, this young lady. Watch out here. Oh, and lands right across her. That's what I'm talking about right there. Serona loving it. I and mean, how can you not be? If you're on your if you're on your shit and your opponent is not, you best believe you put everything into this. But right now, you see again. Taking too much time to get back in the ring where she just should slide back into the ring. But you see also at the same time, that's maybe where Serona's losing that momentum. And going right for that very quick pin there almost desperate I would say not in a bad way but just you know you're losing you're losing energy in the tank how do you keep going spinning heel kicker right across the chin slamming that arm up but Trinity not gonna stop until she gets something going for herself shot right there and Zaguri grounds her that was rough. Form shot swatted away. Saw coming. Reverse DDT. That's what I'm talking about right now. Trinity. Trinity on her A game here. Let's see what she can do. Look at this. Oh, wheelbarrow stunner. That was amazing looking. If you're Trinity, you need to get something going, kid. Telling Serona to get up. I think she can. I think she knows she can't reach Serona from that angle. Try to get a little closer, possibly. I'm not sure. Drop kick to the side of the head. Did you see that? Trinity back up to the top now. She knows she has her ground here for sure. Going to the top for that possible frog splash. She got all of it. Is that enough though? Referee, perfect placement. One, two, no, and throws that shield up to Serona. As much and as much damage as Trinity thinks she has done, she has barely done any damage to Serona. Serona's pretty much been running this match for this whole time. Look at this. Oh, toss her by her head. Jeez. Now Serona's time to possibly fly or 
something of that sort. That's exactly what we were expecting here. I was expecting anything less. She can hit this super fly special. It could be all over. Let's see what she can do. Going for it all. No! Misses all of that. Spinning back kick. No. We're here whip there. Stomp right across the face. Again, Trinity not as dumb rolls out of the ring. This time she knows. This time she knows. She knows exactly what she's got herself into. Drop kick there. That drop kick was ruthless. Going for it. Oh, cross body. She got all of it. Did you see that? The air time this girl got. And she corked it in midair too. This is what I mean. Athletically, so damn gifted is Trinity. Trying to pull her across, but she's too damn, she's too tall. She's too lanky to pull her across. And you get the thing, this is the thing here too. You're giving all this time to recover on the outside. And that's what Trinity's, that's the Trinity's, that's her, that's her, that's the bad thing for her in this match. Elmer across the face. That may be her downfall here. Go for that splash again, possibly. Go for that splash again, possibly. She got all of it again. That frog splash could do a referee. One, two, three, and this one is over. Find a way to turn it around out of nowhere with that crossbody. I think that crossbody, she may have knocked her silly there for the moment. Serona was out. You never know who's going to win this thing until it's, all, until it's all said and done. Until you get a pin and fall submission to count out something that makes an official win or loss for a said opponent and yourself. In the end of the day, she came out above and that's what you want. In the end of the day, you want a winner. You don't want to double counter or something of that sort it's just not the way I don't think it was the way things should be going around here perfect placement here for this frog splash she got all of it for that three at the end of the day more amazing than anything with that cross body from the top to the outside she got that with perfect precision lands right across the Rona there and got herself a three that's how you do it ladies and gentlemen we got some more action up next for you in Shinjuku Joshi Babel don't you dare click away Welcome back to Shinjuku Joshua Bell, Jersey City, out here. Last time these girls were in action, they didn't get a successful win for themselves, but a big time win here would definitely help them out in the tag team division. Right now, with Shinjuku just becoming a newer thing for these ladies, the tag team division is pretty small. It's not huge just yet. At the same time, they haven't got a win yet, like I said, and they need that here. But a win here will definitely propel them pretty easily getting to those tag team championships. Possibly. I'd say a big time possibility, like I said, because of it being so small. You take advantage while you can before things start getting more populated and, and the ladies here start filling in and, and it'd be a damn shame to be left in the dust for these two. The way a win here would definitely help them out for sure. What the hell is this? Oh jeez. Double A? Okay, uh, it makes sense, I guess. Anyway. Walking in front, being on the left here. Would, uh, from out this angle, but you get the idea. And walking in front would be... Alley. An alley! Just different ways to say it. But, alley nonetheless, and... It's... Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Last week we saw Ali Sin walk out during Ali Dennis and Deborah Fiamata's match, and it seemed like Ali was on Ali's side. <laughs> so I guess Ali and Ali are together now. Ali Dennis and Ali Sin. Either way, Janae Marley starts this one off. Ali Dennis starts this one off. Let's get it. Ooh, form shot, tough. Oh, and I slap right to the face. I saw Ali Dennis walking down to the ring with a little bit more purpose than usual this week. I don't know what Ali Sin said to her in the sense of the last time we've seen these two. Ooh. But Ali Dennis seems like she's on a purpose to do damage here. Like, really hurt someone. Oh, swats the hand away. 
This bulldog here, simple and easy. Like I said in the last match, take someone by their head and throw your whole body with it. And your body is soon to follow. It doesn't matter how big or bad you may be. Now, if you're bigger, you may have the opportunity of uh, having the up the you know the upper body strength or the lower body strength to actually toss them around. But when you're someone about the same size as your uh, as your opponent, it's kind of hard to stop them from doing anything like that. Oh, kind of hard to cut someone off when they're the same size as you. Oh shit! No, oh, my goodness, that was rough looking. Sinead Marley in trouble already in this one. After that, that was a big maneuver then. You heard you hear the crowd just booing a mile away. Right now, Marley in trouble. Ali Sin now tagged in. Much bigger Ali Sin. Probably the yeah, definitely easily the biggest girl in this match. And she's that's a yeah, that's a big girl. She's not small by the slightest form. Shot right there, shivered right across the chest. Kick right there to the midsection. Just trying to get things going for her team. We're just trying to uh, uh, just get rid of anyone. Oh, but the Janae Marley being the smaller of the two in this thing. Out speeds her there. And also outpacing her in this thing. And at the same time tagging in the much more experienced Leah Staten. And not done but a slightest keeps the momentum up for her team. Now you see Leah Staten being tagged into this thing. Referee trying to get Janae Marley out of this. And Leah Staten now setting up. Oof. Leah Staten had some, a few great matches back last year on Divas in, in the 2K16 universe mode. Oh, single leg drop kick there takes her down. Ali Sin says, no, I'm not having any of that. Oh, shot right there. Oh! Did you hear that? Did you feel that? There's a Gary right there. She thinks she went for a kick, and he saw Leah Stan's head bounce off of the knee of Janae Marley there. And not done by the slightest. He's tagged in now. These girls move so damn swift. It's amazing. Double suplex there. I don't think it was expected for that to happen. And now you see Ali Dennis taking advantage of that opportunity in front of her. Dennis with a drop kick to the side of the head. Staten had things going. Elbow right across the... F I don't know what is she... I don't know how she got her, but that looked nasty. Arm drag tough. Tough. Arm drag was tough. I don't know exactly what it... Ali Dennis is up to. But until like getting uh, Ali Sin back in this would probably be better for better for her at this point. A little beneficial for the moment. Look at this. Oh! Double flapjack. And some distance, closing it in with that clothesline. Tell her to get up. Ali Sin. This isn't the first time we've seen her. Oh, and it won't be the last. Also making her debut at Divas last year as well. But the girl's not new to the world of wrestling by the slice. Looks like she's going to take her in and say, hey, tag her in. That's not the case. That's not the case at all. That's not the case at all. She cut her off. Oh, and speaking of being cut off, she cut her up in the midsection there. Running. Hoda can run her. And right now, Leah Stanton probably would be best to tag in Janae Marley. They much more energized Janae Marley. May have been able to turn the pace of this match around for the moment. Look at this. Suplex easy. Suplex easy. Suplex right there. Falls right into it. Takes right for the pin. Goes right for the pin. Cuts her off. Don't know exactly what these two had in mind, but I think they want to do more damage. I think they said, I think she cut off and said, hey, don't pin her yet. You're giving her momentum just to, for her to kick out. Giving her that, uh, that adrenaline, that mental adrenaline where it's like, I, I kicked out of your move and right now. Today Marley having a damn field day. Oh, forearm shot to the spine. Tries to take down the much bigger girl. That's so exactly what she does. Oh my gosh, the reverse suplex there from Janae Marley bringing it. That's what I like to see. This is what you like to see. Some action being done here. But the much bigger Ali Sin. Not having any of that. Oh. Toss into the corner. And Janae Marley. For a moment, oh, has something going. Discus clothesline gets her cut right off. Right now, if you're Ali Sin, you gotta be thinking, what the hell do I need to do? Because this other girl was bringing it here. Oh, gosh. Just cracking her across the skull here. Watching at her here. Oh, <laughs> hits her instead. Hits her instead. I don't think she was trying to. I don't think she was trying to. Janae Marley rolls out. 
J.R. Hardy turns it around. Reverse DDT there. Allie Dennis probably the freshest in this match. Right now finds herself in a bad spot. Does Ali Sin though? If she's the freshest of the two being Ali Dennis, she needs to get her tag. She needs to get herself tagged into this thing. Watch out. Ends are great to the side of the head. Janae Marley on her A game. I'm loving it. How can you not love what this is going on here? This is a little this is a little something. A little something that we haven't seen from Janae Marley and Leah Staten. And that's that fighting lasting ability to stay in this thing. Oh, clotheslines her hard. Look at this. Oh, takes her down with the head scissors. Oh, <laughs> hits the referee as well. I don't think she was trying to, but that's what you get right there. That's what you damn get. That's what you get when you're in the way. Oof. Oh, <laughs> big boot right there. Chop crashed her down. This match is insane here. Oh gosh, what the hell is Ali Sin up to? Oh, that snake eyes. Rough. Rough as hell. Reversal there. Look at this. Swing and neck breaker. Janae trying to stay in this thing, but really needs to tag in Leah Staten if she possibly can. The experience would definitely probably help this match somehow, some way. Misses that. Oh, that kick right to that head. The speed that she flew at was amazing. That was intense. Tagging in Ali Dennis here. Dennis now tagged in. You see Leah down on the outside in a bad spot. Double. Oh. Oh, it hits her right off. Dennis now. Dennis. Oh, form shot. Form shiver at that. Bounce right out of that corner. Tags her in. Marley, as much as she wants to stay in this thing. Oh my gosh, that can be it right there. That has to be it right there. Call it what it is. If Marley can get this to be a damn miracle. Referee, one, two, three. This one is over. Oh gosh, hits the ground hard. You talk about a finishing blow. There you go right there. Janae tried to stay in this thing as much as she could, but I'm telling you, if she had the opportunity, even for a moment, to just jump over, make the save, make the tag, into Leah Stat in this match could have went on a little longer. They may have had that opportunity to just, the longer you go in this thing, the opportunity starts to start opening as these girls start being worn down. But Ali Sin and Ali Dennis on their A game. Look at this right there. My goodness. Show off the strength of Ali Dennis there with that wheelbarrow. And out of nowhere, show off that shows off that speed. This Ali does Ali Sin with that damn double knee right across the chest you have nothing left to say after that but wow talk about blowing yourself up in the tag team division these two men just may have done that and we got next we got some watcher for you here in Shinju Joshi Babel don't you dare click away be a damn shame if you do. Welcome back to Shinjuku. Did I tell you guys it's episode 9? That's all I had. I don't have anything to say about that. Anyway, Kitty Klein making her way down to the ram. And a sight for sore eyes. Now, this is the lady that doesn't always get the victory. But that's why the crowd loves her, simply because of her, her fighting attitude. She's been through wars with some of the best, and I mean some of the best, and I mean the best of ladies. And for the most part, the crowd's always on her side. They love that fighting attitude that she brings. So even if she doesn't have a victory here tonight, or even if she does have a victory tonight, that'll help the crowd even erupt even more here for this young lady. But a win would definitely be helpful in keeping her... Uh, more current on the show. Let's just say that. Hell, who the hell is this? Is this the? Is this double A again? Oh no. Okay. 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 Repeating music. What's with the people in the back repeating music? What's going on? Wait. This young lady makes her way down to the ring. Liba. And followed behind her is Yoriyama. Caught her. Caught a quick glimpse of her. 
for the moment, but either way, this is Leva. Leva loves to play the cosplay game. And I think Yoriyama is the same way, and I think they've found there's some friendship in the back. Did see them earlier on chatting. Uh, may, or maybe they're just tra maybe they're doing a uh, translation for each other. I don't who knows. Either way. Weeba and Kitty Klein get it going on. You see Yoriyama right there on the outside. Finally making her way down. And Leva just practically sprinted down here. Oof. Oh, back elbow there. You see Kitty Klein early. Oh, she's trying to get something going. Leva loves to show off. It's going to take more than showing off to get something going here for yourself. You want to win this thing. Yamo. She rolls out to Yoriyama there. Toss it from one side to the other. Oh, punch right there. Leva loves to play. Leva loves to play. Oh, my gosh. Did you see her roll off the, 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 the mat here? That was rough looking. And Katie Klein still in this thing. Katie Klein has this slight size advantage, which is not always the case when the most part. Katie Klein is not the shortest lady of all time either. Has a slight height advantage here for sure, and that reach will definitely help her. And oh, giving her some distance with moves like that. Did you see the distance she cleared from that middle, from the middle there to Leva? What an easy clothesline. Second one being seen here from Katie Klein. And Katie Klein a little more aggressive as a late. I like it. You gotta like it. I, I said it earlier on in the match with Trinity and Serona. You gotta just be a little more aggressive than you usually are. Speaking of being aggressive. Oh gosh. Speaking of being aggressive. She just caught her out of midair with that. Setting up. What the hell is this? And she rolls into that clutch there. That leg lock clutch there. It looks like an Indian death lock of sorts. Let's go that leg. That leg taking damage though for sure. Oh, step around the mid section. Next week, we'll also be having a special oh episode of Shinjuku. Championships will be on the line here for sure. So you didn't have, we're not having a pay per view, but we're having more of a special, just a special night altogether. It's be something to watch here for sure. You saw how Liba, the experience Liba got out of that one. Back elbow there. We've taken a lot of damage in this match, though. Key, like I said, Key has been on her ag aggressive streak as of late, and like I said, love it. I love it. From one side to the other, pillar to post. Let's see what she can do. Oh, hits the ground. Oh! Holy shit, did you see that running knee trembler there? Cracked her. Catches that foot. I don't even know how Key Klein's still going. Spin back kick there. Irish whips. Spasms. Oh! Love to have fun in that ring. Leave it not exactly the best dancer. I don't think you should keep. You shouldn't do that anymore. Oh, misses that boot. Doesn't miss that one though. Oh, and crashes across the around across the face. Kitty Klein finds herself in a little bit of trouble here. Leave it now setting up exploding suplex there. You saw how quickly she goes for the pin. She didn't waste any time. She leaped over. They make the pin. Got only a one out of that from Kitty Klein. Kitty Klein, maybe that. All that, all that, all that time in Divas started to add up and giving her a little more resiliency. She's very hardened, it seems. Oh, forearm shot there. Forearm shot there again. Catches that boot. Whips her around. Arm drag beautifully done. You're, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, I'm watching on the outside as... her. I guess her friend Liba right now finds herself in a bad spot. Oh, gosh. Kitty Klein loves to use that behind, and she's throwing all of it right across the face of Leva. More humiliation in mind games than anything. Stomp around across the arm. Kitty Klein, not stupid. Not by the slightest. You cannot take, you cannot take this girl out of her, her, her element. She is a wrestler through and through. She may be cute, but she can wrestle, man. Watch out, though. No, oh, a kick right across the face. Kitty Klein on a new incline here. Definitely on a decline. And how the hell is Liba still going after all that? It's beyond me. Either way, Liba now set up for something big. Saw it coming. Kitty Klein cuts her off. 
Look at this. Oh, face buster there. Sit out face buster at that. Now you see Kitty Klein flying to the top. Not often you see this when she hit that crossbody or something of that sort. It's maybe just all her. Telling her to get up, but I don't think she's too close to go for anything anyway. Anything that close could do you in trouble. Crossbody. I spoke too soon. Going for that crossbody like I said before. Hooks the legs be throw across the... Oh, the head of Leba and just smashing those, el those elbows right across the top. Like I said, this aggressive style of Kitty Klein is really starting to show here. I guess maybe all she needed was a, a new way to approach a match. Is coming aggressive. Oh, misses that. I don't know what she was going for. Finds herself in a bad spot regardless. Saw that coming. Russian leg sweep. Saw that coming. Arm drag there. Trying to fight her off. Oh, and a slap right to the face. That was rough. Katie Klein, I'm loving it though. Drop kick there. Katie Klein probably going for that K2. Oh, saw that coming. Double knee face break. It just may have done her out. Is Katie Klein still getting up? Showing off her resiliency here. Super kick right across the face. Pulls away from the ropes to possibly get a three here. One, two, three, and this one is over. Holy shit, didn't expect it by the slightest, ladies and gentlemen. Just out of nowhere, but all of that, Kitty came in with a plan. That plan was to just do everything, and I'm saying impressive. I, I call that impressive as hell. I call that damn impressive. I say that was one of the most impressive showings that Kitty Klein's had. And she's, like I said, she's going up against some of the best. And it's given them a challenge here for sure. But this match right here showed that she has a new attitude, a new found attitude. And she really needs to bring it more out more often. She needs to bring that up more often and show that she has something. That she can bring it to the best. And for all you know, anything is possible in the world of wrestling. And you can see a new champion here being Kitty Klein in the future. But tonight, Leah became with a big time victory here. Yet I'm proud of that one for sure. What a match, what a match, what a match, man. That was... That was impressive. Impressive victory for impressive victory for this young girl Liba here. And at the same time, even more impressive. This is the match we have up next. Christina Monet takes on Lena Zada. You talk about impressive. It's gonna get just that. It's up next here. On Shinjuku, Joshua Bell. Christina Monet, what makes her way down to the ring. And my goodness, you talk about someone who's so damn good at everything they do, but just hasn't found that success yet. That's her. That's Christina Monet. Has everything going away, has the looks, has the athletic ability, has the body, has the build, has the strength, the speed, the endurance, the everything. I mean, she's the everything. The total package, even. But just hasn't found that success for whatever reason. And hopefully, at some point in the year for Jinjuku here, or some point in the future for her, Championship Gold has to be coming her way. It just has to be. She takes on this lady here. Lady who is being... pushed the right way by the right person. That person being Laura Caliente. You see Laura on the left... In the background there, standing right behind her client here, Lena Zada. This force of greatness makes her way down the ring, and you best be scared if when she steps in the ring with you. She is dangerous as they come, and I'm telling you, that Samoan heritage really starts to play a factor when you see the strength this girl has, the size this girl has, the speed. It's incredible for a girl her size, and never to disrespect the women's weight here by any means, but you know what I mean. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but you know what I mean when I say that. At the same time, she comes in with something. She comes in with purpose behind her. Because a pushed purpose is what she has. Like I said, Laura Caliente on the outside watches. Watches and makes everything and tells her everything that she needs to do to do everything right. To make sure every possible thing that she does right is precise, concise, and just right on the money.
Gensin going Christian Monet, Lena Zada. Right into the clutch these two are. Like I said, Lena Zada, as good as she is, she has someone behind her here where Christina Monet doesn't have that guidance. That guidance that she definitely would definitely need to get something going here in this match. And look at this. Arm being wrenched up here. Oh, clobbering shot to the spine there from Lena Zada. And Lena Zada lets her go. Lena Zada lets her go to just keep doing more damage there. Oh, that headbutt tough as nails. Close that takes her over. That was rough. That was damn rough to look at. Lena Zada just going right after. Lena Zada going right after. Oh, that hip, tip, uh, hip attack right across the face. Christina Monet, like I said before, is the total package. Can do it all in this ring. Has the size. Has that, has that, has that natural size where she's not too small. She's not too big. She has the, 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 the right body size, the right body build and everything. And she has everything going her way. But right now, just hasn't found it going here for herself. Oh, that's backbreaker there. That could be a start, though. Hasn't found that success in Divas or Jinjuku just yet. And sure, Jinjuku is a little new, but still... Christina Monet hasn't had that success, but was damn near close. And think about this too. Christina Monet could have been that that lady. Christina Monet could have been the one of the women to go and be here. Oh, be in the spot that Lena Zada's at right now. It's all business when it comes down to it. It's all business when it comes down to it. That DDT though. That DDT early in this match. A move like that is something you wait for later on. But going for the big moves early, this could be it. No. Going for a power bomb. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Stop right on her. That back taking damage. Lena Zada needs to figure out a way out of this. And well, Monet, you gotta give her credit. It's not ex. Oh, jeez. Takes her by the skull, and that Samoan head just crashes right into her. And again, taking her by the skull and just palming her like a basketball here. Mongolian shot, another one there. Throat thrust, oh, a kick right there to the chest, or more than the least got her in the arm more than anything. It's not pinpoint and accurate, but it definitely does damage. Alina Zada is all about doing damage and about getting this match done in her favor. Look at this, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Monet trying to stay in this thing. The crowd not liking Alina Zada by the slightest, and it's all shown right here. Monet in trouble. Watch out. That big caboose flying right out of the midsection there. And Elena Zada again. Oh my gosh. And she's trying to separate herself from her. And that big old caboose goes flying right into her. Now has her again. And we see them on the outside. And everyone can see now on the inside. That hip attack. Using that big caboose. Using those big hips. And that very thick body to toss around Monet with ease. Setting up for again. Oh. And the moves may be repetitive, but they work. And that's why Lena Zada is effective at doing them. She doesn't need a big move set. She just uses herself as a weapon. Trying to go for those chops and everything. Didn't have the reach that Christina Monet did. Monet wrenches at that neck now. Has the things going back in her favor. We can see the welts on her chest and face there. It's just landing these shots after all the shots that were landed by Lena Zada. Lena Zada now. Oh, Toby Atomico right across the chest. Monet now. Has things going. Let's see what she can do. What the hell? No way. And it's not a saying, rise up. Rise up. Sets up that bear hug here. And this could be a bad upper. This is be a bad spot right now. And look at the way she's wrenching at her there. Look at the way she's wrenching at her. And Lena Zada just may have this match in the bag early on in this thing. Early on in this thing, call it what it is. It's just one just, just, just damn it be over. Monet with that back elbow. Another one there to get us up out of that one. A bell clap to the ears is what you need though. Now Monet, set it up. Set it the hell up. Whatever you're going for, do it and hurry the hell up. Oh my gosh. No way. Cho! Cho slam could be it right there. Damn. Right in front. Of 
Laura Kelly didn't say this one could be over. No, and throw that shoulder up. That choke slam wasn't flush. You tell that she didn't get all of it. It was more of a desperation choke slam. But either way, choke slam nonetheless. Lena Zada right back and into this thing. Now instead of a power bomb again, Monet saw it coming. You can see the way she lifted her. She didn't have all of that. And it could be the confidence not being built that Christina Monet may have, have built in this thing. And now you got to build that confidence and make something of it. Right now, Lena Zada still a very new to the world of wrestling. Not exactly the, the, the oof. Not exactly the, 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 a, a veteran of any sort by the slightest. Now let's look at this shoulder breaker there. Christina Monet. Christina Monet now. You got to get something going, girl. You got to get something going. This roll up here could do it. This roll up here could do it with the rope break. Lena Zada is, is, oh, she's big and she's tall too. Oh gosh. So a move like that, especially close to those ropes, just more likely help Lena Zada get a rope break than anything. Monet going to the top. Then if she can get that go around, this could be it right here. Tony to get up, but I don't know if she can get that reach though. That's the thing. Can she get that reach from that angle? Can she pull it off? We'll find out in a mere moments. Oh my gosh, no way. Are you kidding me? Monet gets out of that one. No fucking way. Hooks the leg really quick. Tries to get one going, but no. Kicks out a damn near zero before referee's hand touches the mat. Amazing match here. Wrenching that neck. Wrenching out of that neck. Monet to the top again. You gotta build some kind of confidence before we can fly to the top for that again. Either way, going for something big. Oh, course screw. Diving sent on there. But now you gotta get the victory for yourself. She's playing with the crowd too much. Yes, love the crowd, but finish this match. You just went for your big move. Lena Zada just caught you out of nowhere like it was damn near nothing. And look at this. Dragon screw right there. That's exactly what I mean. No, no, tried to hit it with that head, but, oh, that was rough, that was damn rough looking, saw that coming though, oh, jeez, call it over, this one just may be that, this one just may be that, Lena Zada pulling right in the middle of the ring, it's set up for something, well, Monet saw it coming, Irish whip there, sorry, arm drag there, if anything, they're wrenching at the arm, Look at this arm. Oh, the arm. And this is what you got to do. Take her off her game. Take her off her game here. Let's see what she can do now. Can she hit it? Can she hit whatever she's going for? Oh, my gosh. No way. No way. Monet now. Pin Lina Zada while you can. Pin her while you can. Come on. Right in for referee. Right in the perfect position to see everything here. Two. No. Oh, and kick that shoulder up. This Lina Zada. How close was that? Monet thinking of it, thinking of thinking of it, and saying no, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work here. She ducked down, and it shows off the strength that Monet has too. When I say that Lena Zada is not a small girl, she's not a small girl in the world of wrestling here. Christina Monet isn't the smallest girl, but man, the strength she brings is incredible. Oh gosh, did you hear that? That thud of body, a prompt body here. Jeez, that power bomb out of the corner. Look at this. Look at this strength! Are you kidding me? Power bomb from the damn near, damn near deadlift power bomb there. This is what we're talking about. Lena Zada is no simple young lady here. Look at this double wrist lock suplex, and now puts a bridge on it. Now puts a bridge on it, but throws that shoulder up again. Monet to the top now. Me going to the well too many times. Me going to the well too many damn times here. Moon solid, she misses that. Look at this. Flips out of that thing. So oh, close and it takes her over. Close and crashes her. Off the ropes here, she goes. Big boot right there right across the chest. Did you hear the, the thud? The damn thud. Oh, headbutt. Off the ropes to get some, something going. Christina Monet low stunned, and I would be too if he got hit with a Samoan head like that. Lena Zada with a leg drop right across the chest. 
Puts all the pressure, applies right on the shoulders here. This one could be over right there. No! Giving her some fight here for sure. And Lena Zada just throws all the way across her now. And again, Rene throws that shoulder up. We have someone as the as, that's the wife of Gory Caliente, like Laura, that knows wrestling, has seen wrestling, has been in wrestling. You kind of figure out how to do things a little more better than most. And you kind of figure out, you saw, it was one of those moments there that you saw. And, I'll, and you can go back to it if you want to. After hitting that leg drop, having the shoulders placed across, sorry, having, having the, her body placed across the shoulder blades of Christina Monet to keep her down here. You saw, you saw the difference. And then she laid her whole body across. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, that knee. Oh, shot right there. Sets her up. Sidewalk Slamorama. Lena Zada here. My goodness. Spine Buster. That bear hug spine buster. You never know if she's going for the bear hug or the spine buster. But I'll tell you this. She's going to go for that leg drop now. Right up. Cross the face here. Going for the pin. Two. Three. This one is over. What a fucking match, ladies and gentlemen. This is insane. That bell cup to the ears. Early on for that bear hug. Maybe this could have been it. That show slam could have been it right there. But doing it a little too early in this match, and that may have definitely cost her there for sure. Keeping this match going a little longer than she wanted it to. Right here, another bear hug slam. North Life Suplex from Monet here. Keeping this thing up. When it's all said and done, that leg drop right there across the throat. Look at that thick, large tree trunk of a leg right across the throat of Christina Monet. And has her placed right where she wants her in the middle of this ring. And you talk about someone who's dominant. This girl right here is just that. Lena Zada is on her A game. And a possible champion once again could this young lady be. With the guidance of Laura Caliente, anything is possible here. My God. Goodness, what a match. Here we go. We have some matching for you up next. Nina Cartier, Jackie Brown. The rivalry continues. It's up next here on Shinjuku, Joshua Bell. Go back to Shinjuku, Joshua Bell. Jackie Brown makes his way down to the ring. It's beautiful blue. Jackie Brown found finding success ever since getting here to Shinjuku. Against like it's have a big rival like being you know Cartier. Cartier is no joke. But as of late, in the last pay-per-view that we've had, being fine gold, found that success that she really needed for herself being Jackie Brown against Nina Cartier. And you, you thought it was over, but Nina Cardi says it's not over. So I guess these two keep going. I, I guess that's the way it kind of goes around here. We have a, such a small but diverse amount of people. A, a, a bunch of young ladies here. New and old. You kind of... Oh gosh! Nina Cardi just getting smashed here. And Jackie Brown just beating the hell out of her here. Jackie's pissed. I think the whole thing was she was trying to end this rivalry and say, let's just call it it. But Nina just wants to keep bringing it back. So now Jackie Brown's bringing it back too. Oh, and Nina Cardi out of this thing. Nina Cardi is a fighter here for sure. Nina Cardi is a fighter here for sure. She rock kick. She ate it like it was nothing. She ate it like it was nothing. This match too early to go for something like that. But Nina Cardi fighting back as well. You can't take anything away from a cross body. Cross body can do it right here. One zero. Nina Cardi. Is it this match just? <laughs> Look at this. As if this match has been going on this whole time. 
Clothesline, my goodness, these girls are beating the hell out of each other. Holy shit. Give credit where credit's due. Nina Cartier is hurt. You best believe she's hurt. And she's throwing everything. She's throwing everything into this thing. Kick to the midsection there. Kick to the midsection with it again. Wrenching down that neck. Oh, and almost, I think, more of a rig to the eyes. Guts all the way to that. This belly to back suplex. That was rough looking. Jackie Brown right back down on the ground here with a three, possibly two. No. Nina Cardi has shown that she has some resilience. Now taking that beating just a few moments ago, finds herself, oh, out of the way of whatever the hell she was going for. Tosses her over the ropes there. Jackie Brown has nowhere to go. The momentum, the force, the speed. And Nina Cardi. Coming from an angle here. I don't know what she's trying to do. Oh, across bodies, what she's trying to do. That was ugly looking. My goodness. Oh, on the outside. You want war. There we go. Nina Cartier. My goodness. Tossing her back into the ring. Jackie Brown just may be out of this. I think. I'm not sure. That face buster did damage. One. And a one is what you get from Jackie Brown. Stomp around across the head. Leg drop there. Yo, oh, Jackie Brown. And then found herself in a lot of trouble. More trouble than I expected here. Oh my gosh, she just rolled her right over. Jeremy Suplex coming up. She got all of it. Oh my gosh, she, her neck almost rolled off that damn second rope there. Knee to the side of the head. Stomping her across the thigh area. And now Jackie Brown just may be able to finish this thing. Look at this exploding suplex there. If you're Jackie Brown now, now will probably be the time to hit that. To hit that fucking float over DDT. Can she do it though? That's the question. Jackie Brown gets cut off there. Shots coming. No, cut her off again. Huda can run -a. That's the old style Huda can run -a. Throwing all that force into her. And pulling her down right across. And now probably doing more damage than ever. Look at this. And again, Nina Cartier cuts her off. My goodness. These girls are rough. These girls are battle tested and have been ready to go since day one. Jackie Brown tossed to the outside. Nina Cartier bring it. Wasting no time, nothing but speed. Oh my goodness. Fucking A. Came here to win, ladies and gentlemen. Came here to win. You know, Cardi didn't come into this thing 100%. Jackie Brown came 100% of, of a beating before he had to be right, the, right when the bell started. He started trying to go for a possible finish there. Jackie Brown says no, returns it around with that reverse DDT kick to the spine. Knee to the face. This back elbow there. Definitely stunning Jackie Brown. And a third one here. As she falls to the ground there. Goes for another look. Oh, got the rope break there. You saw Jackie toe hit the bottom rope there. Refere referee in the perfect position to see everything. Forearm shot right there to the face. Snap suplex coming up. Yes, she got all of it. Floats right over into it. Into that pin. Has the shoulders matted there. And no. If you're Jackie Brown right now, you gotta be thinking, what the hell do I need to do? And if you're Nina Cardi, you gotta be thinking, what the hell do I, how do I survive this match here? Sets up with a German suplex. She got all of it again. My goodness. Stop around the spine, Jackie Brown. Now back into this thing. Elbow drop right across the chest. Nina Cardi rolls L out. Goes right after her. Oh, stop to the chest. Another one there. Tosses it back into the ring. Cardi. In trouble here. In trouble here. Nina Cartier. In trouble here. Clothesline there. My goodness. 
How do you keep going? How does Nina Cardi stay in? She wants to win. She wants to show off. She wants to say that she's one of the best. And she can beat Jackie Brown here tonight. And she just may have with this Samoan driver here. No, and Jackie Brown throws that shoulder up at two. This is it right here. This is our main event here. Jackie Brown and Cartier. These two have been fighting each other for the last month. And it's just been amazing to watch. Oh, shot right there. That was ugly. Tosses her over, hits the ground hard, does Nina Cartier. Jackie Brown. I don't know what her plans are. I guess her plans are to try and do as much damage as she can. Oh, shot right there. Oh, oh my gosh, she rolled off that bottom step there. That was ugly. That was damn ugly. I don't wonder how Jackie Brown's back is doing right now. That was rough. Clothesline. Referee to four. You see how easy it is. As Jackie Brown's smaller, we saw earlier on with much bigger wrestlers how hard it was to pull someone back across these ropes. Here. We saw it with Serona and Trinity at the start of this thing. How hard it was for Trinity to pull her back in, but finally found a way to get her back in. But damn there, I think she have, may have knocked out <laughs> Serona at that point. Serona was on wobbly legs. And got pinned there, and if you haven't seen that, go back and check it out, but it, you shouldn't be clicking away. Shinjuku Joshua Bell, best women's wrestling of all time. Oh, a spear! You know, Cardi needs to find a way to get back into this thing. She's been doing so damn good so far, but now Jackie Brown seems like she wants to end this thing. Hooks the leg, doesn't even try to go for the float over. And I give it all the credit in the world to Nina, though, for in this match for her for sure. May not been the, the the may just be that uh that style that Jackie Brown brings to the ring. She says, "Hey, I'm gonna beat your ass." No. Oh! That big Southern style was I. I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. I'm not gonna waste time. The Tennessee Queen, two, three, and this one is over. Jackie Brown came out with a big time victory, but take nothing away from Nina Cardi. Cardi tried to fight as much as she could, but just couldn't put the full effort into the match. It just wasn't it just wasn't going the way it was. It wasn't 100 percent to 100 percent going in. It was more of a damn near 70 to 100 percent there. And Jackie Brown came with 100 percent As much damage as she took in this thing, as much damage as she took, you see Nina just every move that she does doesn't have doesn't have anything in it. Doesn't have anything in it. And I think it's earlier on that beating she took in the corner. When you get beat up unsuspectingly. You don't expect to get up. You don't, you don't expect to. You don't expect to take the damage you do. You usually prepare yourself for the kind of matchup you're going to be in against someone else. But when they they kind of attack from behind, it's kind of hard to uh, adjust yourself. If you're hard, hard for your body to adjust itself. It's almost in shock. She found herself in that shock there, but found herself out of the shock there for the moment. But it just was too beat up. The human body just couldn't take anymore after that landing that DDT not once. But damn, not twice and not even three times. She got herself the victory for the third. Third time was the charm. She definitely needed it for sure. Jackie Brown continues. And this amazing rivalry between these two. Anyway, guys, as always, come like, subscribe. Um, look forward to more stuff with Pure Intense Wrestling, Crash Japan Pro Wrestling. I kind of want to keep that up. I want to keep the story going with all three of these shows and stuff. But I honestly want to keep... Um, as much pure test wrestling crash as I can out of it besides it being like championships and shit like that so uh other than that man it's it's been fucking amazing it's been amazing Shinjuku eh, it wasn't the best episode this week but you know what it got the point across of what I want to kind of get going so if you guys enjoy the, anything I've done here tonight so far um or anything I've seen, you've seen in the past from the past episodes of Shinjuku go, go back and watch go back and watch those as well and um as always, come like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Until then, peace out and good shit.